Hey guys, welcome to our Let's Play of Hifu Bianco. This is a Toho Dojin game released at Comic 86. It's like a Fire Emblem game, which you will see as we in get into the game. It's more of a story based game, um, so I'll be doing a bit of talking during the uh, actual story scene. Um, I don't think I'll narrate everything, that's kind of annoying, but I'll try and explain what's happening. And um, this is a sequel, so here we are, we're uh, transferring data uh, from a previous game which is called Genso no Keifu. And here we get to pick the difficulty, we're going to be playing on casual. Um, if you're not familiar with Fire Emblem, classic is the standard uh, gameplay where you lose units, they gone forever. And casual is if you lose units during a map, they'll just come back to the next map. Uh, basically this is just so I don't get angry, have to restart a lot. And uh, we'll be playing on hard mode. Uh, I played this game most of the way through on easy and normal, so we're going to be playing on hard. It's not that difficult on normal. Actually, I was very disappointed how uh, lackluster normal actually was because in Kenzo no Keifu, the previous game, playing even playing on easy can be a challenge. So we'll be playing on hard here. All right, so let's begin. Alright, so to start the game, we pick a main character. We get to pick either Yusami Rinko or Maribel Han. That was Rinko and Mary. Uh, we'll be playing with Rinko here. Basically, there's no gameplay differences, except for right at the start, it's easier to manage your inventory with Rinko. So we'll be going to that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna actually skip through just a little bit. Uh, basically, um, here, they're just, the two of them just meeting up and at a bookstore, if I'm correct, and they'll be going to a old abandoned shrine later to investigate the gaps for club activity. If you're not familiar with the two of them, they're basically, uh, let's see, yeah, so this let's talk about the Hakurei border and how it separates the world basically between fantasy and science. And the two of them talking about their club and how they try and find the traces of fantasy. Alright, so now they've arrived at a shrine outside of town and they're just looking around. They talk about a bit how Mary can see borders, and then they split up. A lot of this is them talking about, basically just a monologue of talking about um, what they like about stuff, but yeah, they realize they are now separated. Um, this is basically the same between both characters. There's only dialogue differences basically based on the character. Um, so, I think I'll skip the rest of this until it gets to the actual story part. Okay, here. It wasn't actually that much further. I will uh, suggest if you want to. Um, enjoy the story, you should just play the game. Uh, I won't be able to narrate the whole thing. So here, um, Rinko has now found herself in the bamboo forest. That is not Mary. You know, she's calling out for people. You don't do stuff like that. It's about the only times um, in actual games where you find that in Toho, Yokai wants to eat people. Alright, so um, here's the game. We now have control and we have character. So, as our Fire Emblem style, you have all your stats coming down here. It's got the magic strength split and your weapon levels, your skills. These are all mechanics of the more recent games. So, um, as you can see, we have nothing. This is our character. I can't even enter it. My inventory would be this blank space, the big bank's blank space. 
So we're just gonna get out of here, get away from those people. Okay, here's Marissa, she heard a cry of um cry for help. Usually you don't make that many comments of going to save people, but okay. There's a person flying in the air. It's just like a witch from a manga. So basically here Marissa is offering to save her in exchange for the book that Rinko's carrying. It's um it's always Rinko's book, even if you play Mary. For some reason Mary gets up with Rinko's book. Which is actually kinda interesting. And she gives her a voluntary book saying that it's unlikely that she'll get out without getting her and just use it if she feels in danger. Alright, so uh, the idea is actually to keep moving Rinko away, but for um, actual gameplay purposes, I'm not going to be doing that. We are actually going to here, this command, okay, we're just going for the commands here. This is um, Marissa's hat. If you're familiar with the courier system in um, regular Fire Emblem, this is your giant courier. There's no limit to the space in here though, that's a big difference. So you can literally chuck everything you want into here, and here's the... Um, item that I got for transferring data. Okay, so uh, we're not going to be taking it out. On her, here's your items. I now have a voluntary, which is doesn't do much honestly. Trade items, so you can trade the person next to you. I kind of see Marissa right now, she's right next to me. Um, and this is wait. So that just ends your turn, and this is a command that was in the more recent Fire Emblem games called Double and you just join up for a second unit. So now we have one single unit, you get a little bit of a stat boost, or rather the person at the back is safe from danger, and we need to beat these two people up. So Mercer here has high speed shots and she has magic shots, but as you can see here, her magic is a lot higher than her strength, so we'll be switching her to use her magic shot. And we'll be waiting inside this bamboo forest, in the top left corner, you'll see the terrain. This is flat ground, this is the bamboo forest. The first stat is defense, the second stat is evasion, and the first stat is healing. Uh, you'll notice that the last two are by percent, so the healing one especially is by is important because um, you actually stand in a healing spot, they will heal by the percent of your health that it states in the geo. But that doesn't matter right now, we'll just be working with this one defense and 15 extra avoid, and we'll just end our turn right here. Okay, so here's T Tokiko. Everyone's being noisy around here. And... That person has a book. She wants to read that book and so she's coming straight at you. Okay, so this is a basic battle scene. Um, you can't expect not to take damage, especially in the higher difficulties. Typically, you'll get hit. They just drop the shot type. I, I'll call the weapon shot types in this game, because basically you're firing bullets at each other. Uh, okay. The EXP you get while doubled is lower, but you don't have to worry about that too much. And here is Futo. A passing towers. In simple terms, she's lost. Alright, so now we have Futo. Her stats are quite a bit higher than Mercer's as a base. And she also has a fire shot, was a base when you get to this quickly. Uh, the interesting thing here is that she has a fire shot, you'll see that it says Magic D. She only has a Magic E, so she kind of use this. But She's still good enough to use, so we'll be moving her forward. Um, where's the enemy? Okay. This is the first time I played on high quality visual settings. I can't see past the trees. Um, okay, let me just try and... 
Nope, that's not it. Okay, so this is, uh, you can change the angle of your view a little bit. That doesn't actually help, the trees are very, oh, whoops. Very thick and I can't see into them. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we need to move Wrinkle backwards here. So for now, we will put... I actually try to be really careful because radio recording this is really painful. Uh, we'll just move here. Um... Okay, so here's Terry. She's supposed to be keeping people out of the bamboo for us, not doing a very good job of it. Okay, so now we have the single yokai and rabbits to deal with. The rabbits are a decent bit more annoying than the yokai. The yokai are your tutorial enemies, they're very weak. The rabbits actually have a decent bit of power to them, especially these ones. These ones are level 10. The uh, main annoying bit about these guys is that they have a lot of speed, which makes them a bit hard to deal with, and Tiwi, which... Well, you don't actually deal with her, but um, we will try later. And I think these ones are the ones that move. Okay, so we'll need to deal with the attack ranges now. Since um, everything's got bigger range than each other, the rabbits fair away, but they got bigger movement range, we're gonna hit C. That opens up all the attack ranges, and we will be working through them. The last thing I like to do is you click on them, you'll open up the attack range. Even without this on, um, it gives you a good idea of where everything's going. So we'll be managing that uh, this round first. And we'll just pick a spot that she can't get into a bamboo forest. And okay, about here, I think. I can't tell where that purple's going, but I think it's in there. Yep, it's in there. Okay, uh, where's Tokiko going? Uh, she's in here somewhere. Okay, there she is. So you can recruit Tokiko, basically you just need someone with a uh, raincoat in the group to fight her at least once and then knock her down. Uh, I think I could walk here. Alright, so um, just before we got a uh, chase, this is what I call a chasing shot, it's also, or it could be a homing shot, but we'll just give that a raincoat and that's her weapon type. She's basically useless in a fight, so that's why I'm not going to be using her at all probably. But we'll just heal here. Be very careful because of Marissa, because she cancels the game over and she gets knocked out. You aren't running away! Give me that book! That did not do much damage. Oh, this rabbit's up here as well. Alright, so uh, we'll just speed this up a little bit. Right. Okay. Dodge. Now, Fudo does a lot of damage to basically everything on this map because of one of the skills she has. Okay, we'll just leave that for a bit. Here's Mako. So, like, hey you, what are you doing here? <laughs> I know that's the right voice to give her. Um, usually she's actually given a quite a deep voice for a, fe well, for a female, quite a deep voice. So she's here to bail, help bail you out. Um, alright, so then you're not supposed to give her EXP because she starts at level 10, your other people start at level 1, but she has way too much freaking health here. Or stats to put a knockdown easily. Alright, so we're just gonna shoot her down, Marco. Alright, so um, here yeah, you'll see that giant damage I can do to her. Yeah. I say two things came up on the side. That's a skill and a stat. Oh no, that's a um, special effect, the yellow one. Basically, it means that your weapon is super effective against the opponent and it does critical damage, which is great. So I just want to read the book. Why did it beat me up? So we begin. Alright, so first we'll take out this rabbit. Rabbits are definitely more annoying, so we'll, you have to go.
and we'll just drop the stack range. And I think the wizard. Oh, no, this guy's got the big attack range here, okay. So if I walk up to that person, I'll be in range of this one and not this one. So we just open that up. That's a chasing shot, and you have a high speed shot. I can't get in range of Mercer, but Tokiko's here somewhere. Okay, here she is. I can't move her. Well, never mind that then. And we'll try and stick to the terrain here. Boom, boom! Tenshi fell down out of the sky. So, so where is this? You're in the lost bamboo forest. Oh, well, bamboo forest of the lost. That's right. Um, so she's gonna be the selfish little princess and ask you to get her out, lead her out of here. But help us kick those people out of the way, says Mercer. And so now we have the Inshi and our team. Okay, so that guy got into the terrain as well, and also I finished it and killed him. The rabbits are coming. Oh, they're all getting into the freaking forest. This might get a little tricky here. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is basically create a bottleneck with Denshi here. She is a giant tank, you see that 13 defense, the second to last that. You can ignore the magic resist for now, that doesn't matter. But we're gonna go straight in there and create a giant bottleneck. Or as giant as can get. Ah, uh, you have a chasing shot and you have a high speed shot. Okay, so you need to die. Okay, so um, that skill that she has allows her to attack again after the turn after her attack turn ends, which is oh, and it can stack on itself as you just saw there. Um, it's actually pretty cool, because basically it means that once the initial attack phase is ended, based on how many times you attack and how many times the opponent attacks, you just start the battle again. And since the opponent could attack back, I shot straight at him three times and killed him. Which was kind of unfair, but it works. Alright, here we go. Okay, there's no point in moving anymore, so... Let's see... Let's... Okay, so I need to keep out of range of at least two. I can't get in range of two of them at a time, but I think. Yeah, I can get here. Yeah, we have to level up. This is completely RNG based, and that was terrible. Only skill and resistance. So here's the Kiko. Where? Is Mercer's here, the rabbit's here. We should attack the rabbit actually. And I'm gonna find Mako in the trees as well. I think she's stuck in the tree somewhere. Okay, so Tokiko's also relatively tanky. So basically, Tokiko and Tenshi are your front line. That's all you really have to remember. Okay, Mako can walk straight at them. She has no danger of dying. And here's Futo. Can she? She can't get anywhere. She, her movement's really low. Um, Alright, I'm actually at a lower the visual quality. It's very nice that the place looks beautiful, but I can't see. And here, using uh, wars. This is basic um, strategies that you would use in this kind of game. Use a giant wall to block the path. Keep your back people or your more frail people safe as far much as you can. And stick to the terrain. Basic strategy. You also have a backup card in this map. If you need to get rid of someone really badly, just have Mako blast them, she'll kill anyone. Alright, so we have one person at full health. Uh, 
Okay, so you need to die. Um, I can stick to the terrain here. I'll just lower that and stay up with these people. Because they are the trouble for a hero. Alright, so I can get rid of you. And let's see. Uh, we'll get rid of you. Okay, another level up. Um, let's see how do we do this. You need to go. All right, so um. This skill is called Beast. It's equivalent to Kanto in the more recent uh, Fire Emblem games. It just lets you move again for um, anyone who has the skill after you've already attacked. So we're just going to go towards this thing on the ground. If you step on this and wait, it's, you pick up an item. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just change the camera and I can't change any further. So there's sparkly stuff. I think you can see it. Uh, let me just zoom in on it. That's even worse. Okay, there's the sparkly stuff. Now you can see it. Alright, so that's the stuff on the ground, and I need to do something about you. I need to get into range of these people soon. Um, might be better if I just have Aqua Blast you. And down here, we want to take... Uh, high speed. Why is this guy to be in the middle? Um, we'll just take... We'll take two of them at a time. It's more efficient that way. Who would use this? I missed. Alright, so um, I'll probably have Indal have Mako blast that person. Oh, come on. Alright, um. Alright, you will probably miss that person, so you need to go. Yep, you need to go. And now they hope to dare whatever that I hit every shot here. She does not do much damage. How much does Fudo do? 10. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna play it safe. Um, let's uh, get into. Uh, turn you off and turn. Yeah, that's the one. Keep you in the terrain. Use a uh, healing self. And we'll just move you into here and attack. Really? Oh, come on. Second attack! Hey, sir! Alright, um, that second thing that came up is combo. If you have more than. Three people attack the same person in the same turn, you'll end up doing more damage and more likely to hit. So if you just zero damage as a calculation, you can actually do damage, which is kind of cool. Okay, so you're gonna suicide. Goodbye. Okay, that person's got ordinary. That does not help. Um, how far can you reach? You can't knock you anywhere. Blast you. And blast you. I cannot do very much damage here. Okay, let's see if you're gonna attack twice and hit both hits. Three in a row. Deny you do any more damage. One more? Ah, oh, okay. Marco, get rid of her. Alright, so we're actually gonna try and um, beat up Tailey here. There's a very specific order of what you have to do to get it. So, we're gonna have some fun doing that. My <laughs> Marco's already leveled up once. Alright, first, uh, we'll just switch here and pass you over. Uh, how do you do that? Um, here. This one lets you. Uh, give your back person to another person. If they are, they also doubled up, then uh, you'll swap the back people. 
So we'll just do that. And then we'll have Marco, I think. Stand in this bush. Take this out. This gives, um, the cash check the thing in, okay. Okay, so... That item gives you extra magic, I believe. Yes, two extra magic. And we're gonna be standing there. The rest of the people don't have to move at this point, just leave it. So Terry's this giant promoted unit, but you can beat her. Have Mako take the first two attacks. You could do this in classic as well, because Mako has uh, the reviving uh, skill, which means she'll come back a couple of times no matter what. Is the limit to her? I think it's five. That's how you could live what. Alright, so now she's down to about 19. You attack again. You're really- you're completely reliant on both these attacks hitting, by the way, so... If that's the work, you should bail. So now she's down to three. And then... Um... Should I give... I don't know if I should give uh, Wrinkle XP at this point. She's really weak. I might have to wait till the training mess before I um, use her at all. Uh, how much skill do you have? Actually, you, know, you have a lot of skill to back up. And then you have to you have to get this kill through to her no matter what. Um, can I actually just do it with just this much damage? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're now gonna attack her. And actually, can I save? I can't. Okay, attack her. Okay, if this doesn't work, the whole plan goes out the window, you can't do anything about it. And here you go, you can beat her. You're able to turn one, no problem. And I got a magic shot. Okay, um, if you start with Mary, she's a mage, so she uses the magic shots, which is what I just got um, from this MVP award, the top one from Marissa. If you don't get one of those shots, you basically can't use Mary at the start, which is why I didn't pick her. But it's actually really likely you'll get one, so if you want to play with Mary, don't worry too much about it. Just have her stand behind Marissa to hold the first map like I did with Rico here. And I finished in 12 turns, get extra ball Mary. It's over, and they all treat as though it's nothing. The interesting thing about this game is designed as though all the characters, except for the major ones that have really specific relationships, pretty much they treat as though no one knows each other. So everyone here are strangers. Oh, that's always how they talk. And now Mako is leading us to the outside of the forest because Mercer pointed one way and it was not the right way. Introductions! Mercer the Witch, Rinko, and Futo the Taoist. I can't remember what team she was, Celestial? And the book reading Yokai, that doesn't really have a name. But everyone calls her Tokiko. Because Yokai apparently don't have names, typically. And Mako. Sorry, I'm Mako, let's go. <laughs> and this is a different world. Alright, so we have cleared the first map. And now we're outside of the map virus. I'm not going in there again. And in exchange, Mercer takes the book, and now they have a fight over the book. And now they're discussing how to get to the village. And basically they're trying to convince Marco to go with them, since she doesn't want to. And basically, your main character will convince her. And she says, the village is far as I'm going. Alright, so here's our save data. We'll be saving over this file. And it goes on to the next map. 
So, um, we'll be finishing this video here. If you liked it, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.